They ought to make the day the time changes, the first day of summer. What? Well, it's 8 o'clock and it's still light. What a good the extra daylight does us. Now, we've still got a three-hour drive back. We're not going to be home until after midnight. Well, if it really bugged you, Johnny, you wouldn't do it. You think I want to blow Sunday on a scene like this? You know, I figure we're either going to have to move Mother out here or move the grave into Pittsburgh. She can't make a trip like this. Oh, no, that she can. Is there any of that candy left? No. Look at this thing. We still remember. I don't. You know, I don't even remember what the man looks like. Johnny, it takes you five minutes. Yeah, five minutes to put the wreath on the grave and six hours to drive back and forth. Mother wants to remember, so we trot 200 miles into the country and she stays at home. Well, we're here, John, all right? to the one from last year. Each year we spend good money on these things. We come out here and the one from last year is gone. Well, the flowers die and the caretaker or somebody takes them away. Yeah, a little spit and polish, you can clean this up. Sell it next year. Wonder how many times we bought the same one. I going to church. Do you remember one time when we were small, we were out here? It was from right over there. I jumped out at you from behind the tree, and Grandpa got all excited, and he shook his fist at me, and he said, Boy, you'll be done to hell. <laughs> remember that? Right over there. I mean, you used to really be scared. Johnny. You're still afraid. Stop it now. I mean it. They're coming to get you, Barbara. You're acting like a child.
gas is there a key? We're trying to get out of here. We've got some gas. Is there a key?
I know you're afraid. I'm afraid too. But we have to try to board the house up together. Now, I'm going to board up the windows and the doors. Do you understand? We'll be all right here. We'll be all right here until someone comes to rescue us. But we'll have to work together. You'll have to help me. Now, I want you to go in and get some wood so I can board the place up. Do you understand? Okay? Okay?
I looked back at the diner to see if, if there was anyone there who could help me. It was when I noticed that the entire place had been encircled. There wasn't a sign of light left except. By now there were no more screams. I realized that I was alone with 50 or 60 of those things just standing there, staring at me. I, I started to drive. I just plowed right through them. They didn't move. They didn't run or just stood there staring at me. Yeah, like bugs. We were riding in the cemetery. 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 Johnny. 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 We can we can put a wreath on my father's grave. Johnny. Johnny. Anything to anything to anything. Can I forget? 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 Can I Why did you say that? And I said, and I said, John, John, if you got, if you were we would do, we would do, we would do, Because 
because of the obvious threat to untold numbers of citizens, and because of the crisis which is even now developing, this radio station will remain on the air day and night. This station and hundreds of other radio and TV stations throughout this part of the country are pooling their resources through an emergency network hookup to keep you informed of all developments. At this hour, we repeat, these are the facts and we know them. Thank <laughs> you.
place is boarded up pretty solid now. We ought to be all right here for a while. We have a gun and bullets, food and the radio. Sooner or later, someone bound to come and get us out. Hey, that's us. We're doing all right. Look, I don't know if you're hearing me. But I'm going upstairs now. If anything should try to break in here, I can hear it from up there. I'll be down to take care of it. Everything is all right for now. I'll be back to reinforce the windows and doors later. But you'll be all right for now, okay? Okay. Civil defense officials in company.
fucking steps there. But the, too many ways of the monsters can get one up there. We'll see who's right, we'll see who's right. We'll see. And they send baby me like a minute down here. That's important, isn't it? What? To be right, everybody else to be wrong. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Does anyone up there know why we're being attacked? Whatever it is, it wouldn't just happen here. Some kind of mass murder is going on everywhere. The radio said to stay inside. Radio? Radio upstairs. I heard a news story. There's a radio upstairs and you boarded us in down here? I know what I'm doing. What did it say? Stop it. Stop it. They don't know anything yet. There's mass murder everywhere and people are supposed to look for a safe place to hide. Take the boards off that door. We are staying down here, Helen. Harry, that radio is at least some kind of communication. If the authorities know what's happening, well, they'll send people for us to tell us what to do. How are we going to know what's going on if we lost ourselves in the dungeon?
up to bring this to you. This is the latest disclosure in a report from National Civil Defense Headquarters in Washington. It has been established that persons who have recently died have been returning to life and committing acts of murder. A widespread investigation of reports from funeral homes, morgues, and hospitals has concluded that the unburied dead are coming back to life and seeking human victims. It's hard for us here to believe what we're reporting to you, but it does seem to be a fact. When this emergency first began, radio and television was advising people to stay inside, behind locked doors for safety. But that situation has now changed. We're able to report a definite course of action for you. Civil defense machinery has been organized to provide rescue stations with food, shelter, medical treatment, and protection by armed National Guardsmen. Stay tuned to the broadcasting stations in your local area for this list of rescue stations. This list will be repeated throughout our news coverage. Look for the name of the rescue station nearest you and make your way to that location as soon as possible. So we have that truck. We can get some gas. We can get out of here. There's a pump out by the shed. I know that's why I pulled in here, but it's locked. Called this afternoon by the president. Since convening this conference, the presidential cabinet, the FBI, the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the CIA, has not produced any public information. Why are space experts being consulted about an Earth-bound emergency? So far, all the betting on the answer to that question centers on the recent Explorer satellite shot to Venus. That satellite, you'll recall, started back to Earth, but never got here. That's the space vehicle which orbited Venus and then was purposely destroyed by NASA when scientists discovered it was carrying a mysterious high-level radiation with it. Could that radiation be somehow responsible for the wholesale murders we're now suffering? Newsman Don Quinn in Washington has posed those questions. Our best move is to try to get out of here. How are you going to get over to that pump? Wait, look. Uh, you're coming from a meeting regarding the explosion of the Venus probes. Uh, yes, yes, that was the uh, subject of the meeting. You feel there is a connection between this and the there's phenomenon. A, there's a definite connection. A definite connection. In other words, you feel that the radiation on the Venus probe is enough to cause, to cause these mutations. There was a very high degree of radiation. Uh, 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 I'm not sure that that's uh, what's wrong. I think that's what's wrong. That's what's wrong. That's what's wrong. That's what's wrong. That's Thank you. 
this at all the radiation detection stations. At this hour, they report the level of the mysterious radiation continues to increase steadily. So long as this situation remains, government spokesmen warn that dead bodies will continue to be transformed into the flesh-eating ghouls. All persons who die during this crisis, from whatever cause, will come back to life to seek human victims unless their bodies are first disposed of by cremation. Our news cameras have just returned from covering such a search and destroy operation against the ghouls. This one conducted by Sheriff Conan McClellan in Butler County, Pennsylvania. Now let's go to that film report. All law enforcement agencies and the military have been organized to search out and destroy the marauding ghouls. The Survival Command Center at the Pentagon has disclosed that a ghoul can be killed by a shot in the head or a heavy blow to the skull. Officials are quoted as explaining that since the brain of a ghoul has been activated by the radiation, the plan is kill the brain and you kill the ghoul. Where are you from the supply wagon, Gus? Uh, no, we're all right. Hey, Gus, put that thing all the way in the fire. We don't want it getting up again. All right, that's not... Chief, Chief McClellan, how's everything going? Oh, things aren't going too bad. Men are taking it pretty good. You want to get on the other side of the road over there? Chief, do you think we'll be able to defeat these things? Well, we killed 19 of them today right in this area. And those last three we caught trying to claw their way into an abandoned shed. They must have thought somebody was in there. There was no... We heard them making all kind of noise. We came over and beat them off, blasting them down. Yeah, okay. Chief, uh, if I were surrounded by six or eight of these things, would I stand a chance with them? Well, there's no problem. If you had a gun, shoot them in the head. That's a sure way to kill them. If you don't, get yourself a club or a torch. Beat them or burn them. They go up pretty easy. Well, Chief McClellan, how long do you think it will take you until you get the situation under control? Well, that's under control. Hard to say. Under control. We don't know how many of them there are. We know when we find them, we can kill them. Are they slow moving, Chief? Yeah, they're dead. Yeah, they're, they're dead. They're, dead. Yeah, they're, they're all dead. messed they're up. Dead. Well, uh, in time, would you say you ought to be able to wrap this up in 24 hours? Well, well, we don't really know. We know we'll be into it most of the night, probably into the early morning. We're working our way toward Willard, and we'll team up with the National Guard over there, and then we'll be able to get them more than get you. Thank you very much, Chief McClellan. This is Bill Cardill, WIC TV 11 News. Thank you, Bill, for that. 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 Thank you, B
time to check out the house. Somebody had a cook out here, Vince. Yeah, it sure looks like it, Tom. Check out the house. There's something. I don't know. All right, then. Hit him in the head. Right between the eyes. 